All right, guys, so now I'm gonna go in with my paint pod from Wet n Wild, and most of the time I can find this during Halloween. Um, I'm just gonna go in and fill in wherever I outlined. You might have to do two layers of this. I have makeup on under, which is a bad idea. You should probably wipe it off or go in with a cleaner face. But we're gonna fix it. All right, so this is only two layers. I was gonna go in for a third, but it's not really necessary. This has been sitting for a little while, so it has dried a little bit. But it should still be tacky, so we're gonna go ahead and add our shadow. So I'm gonna try to keep the colors in the same family as what's on my eyes right now but this look is definitely inspired by the Lisa Frank collection so I'm gonna just go in and do what I think should be done or what I like guys this is like trial and error at this point because I never tried it before but we're gonna try it today so I'm gonna take Juvia's Place palette and I'm gonna use this purple here I like these sponges we're gonna see how these apply I'm just gonna put these in random spots, guys. Now we're gonna go in with pink. And just try to merge them together. It's okay if you put the color on top of each other. Cause I really want that blend. And just as if I was doing this on my eyelid and I blend going back and forth on my colors, I'm going to go back and forth with these colors on my face and we're going to try to get a good blend. The next color I'm going to take is this orange. And you literally want to like coat the whole thing because it starts leaving marks. I don't know if it's the paint pot or what, but it's leaving marks. You just got to blend this out. So I'm going to randomly add this somewhere. And the last shade I'm going to take out of here is this yellow. Now I'm going to go in with a small brush and I'm going to take this brown shade here. I'm going to go in the same shape as this mask and I'm going to outline it with this brown shade just to give it a 3D pop. And just to deepen that up a little bit, I am going to use this dark brown shade, which is just a little more deeper than that shade, to go over that. So we really have that effect as if like it's popping out of our face. Y'all, 
trust the process. Now that I have that, I'm just gonna take this NYX liquid liner and I'm just gonna draw a bunch of C's everywhere. Hopefully this come out how I want it to come out because I never tried this before. Well, okay guys, that's it. I hope to see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this. This is definitely an out-of-the-box look for me. I always wanted to try this. I know it's not the best work ever. It is my first time trying it, but for the first time, I like it. I do see some spots where I would definitely want to change, but honey, once you go on with this, that's it. And this eye look is in the previous video. You guys will be able to see how to get this eye look. If you do decide to try this look, go ahead and... Follow me on one of my social medias that will be down here in the description or pop up somewhere. I don't know where yet, but it will be there. Tag me. Let me know you guys did it. I would love to see them. I would love to post you guys. They can't tell me nothing. <laughs> so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell just to be notified whenever I upload a look. See you later.